What is up, YouTube gang? Hey guys. Thank y'all for tuning back in to Wilburn Shenanigans. If you're new, hit that subscribe button for us. Don't forget to hit that like. We heading into some dumb scammers that got caught leaving their camera on live. Why they were scamming? How? Have to find <laughs> I'm out. so confused. Scammers who I'll be exposing oh. today by showing them their own webcam. <gasps> Three, two, one. Look at your face. Your little scum in the face. Oh, he I'm gonna send the police to your house. Yeah, cover the webcam. Watch how he hacked into these scammers and how he what? stopped this. Oh, he hacked. My bad. I thought these dummies had him on. He yeah. hacked into it. Oh, he it didn't on. make sense, but now he's he on a whole nother level then. Okay, okay, my bad. He's scamming the scammers. The scammer that you currently see on the screen is based out of the city Abuja in Nigeria, West Africa. The type of scams they run is a fake celebrity scam, also known as a celebrity impersonator. However, wow. these scammers don't just impersonate anybody. They impersonate my friends Scammer Payback and Trilogy Media, who are friends and fellow scam baiters that fight against scammers. We spoke a couple of months ago about this idea as we realized most of the victims were already victims of scams who just needed some help. The types of messages they post are like this. Text me on Telegram, the Trilogy underscore team, asking people to reach out for assistance, or they message you like this. Hello, we are Scammers Payback Support. We help people to recover all lost funds and hacking problem. Let us know if you have such problem okay. It is easy for a victim to fall for these type of recovery scams, as they really want their money back that they lost. Scammers will use tactics such as an increase of followers or making a slight name change to trick the victim. But silly enough, I've seen these scammers slip up when they forget to change their account location and their Nigerian phone number on the account. So I started collecting a bunch of these accounts and investigating. The conversation initially starts like this. They will tell you that they can recover all your funds and that you will need to submit evidence that you were actually a victim. Following up by explaining you will need to purchase an activation code for a recovery software that will be bought off the dark web. When asked for the name of this recovery software, they gave me a random software name. With a simple Google search of these softwares, it was clear that this recovery software was nothing but a scam. Then they followed up by saying there was a price for this software, and each of them gave a different number for the price they wanted to charge. I came to the conclusion, if you were scammed out of $2,000, the scammer would take 10% and charge you $200 for the software. But if you were scammed for $500, the scammer would only charge you $50 for this fake recovery software. Some of them even sent a third party Instagram page that was apparently a recovery expert that they said would help me out. However, this is where the main part of the scam takes place. My thing is they be legit though. like. They, they set up be crazy. Like, how they be running stuff? Like, bro, you got all this stuff, like, run through this, do this, do this. Like, they got a whole, like, break. Like, I be thinking to myself, like, if you this good at doing stuff, why not become, like, a a, a computer tech or something? Like, something in the field. Like, y'all be so good at setting up scams, but y'all, like, go work in the field or something. Like, I don't or get how it. Not, how y'all don't got money? I don't want to scam. Right. <laughs> you can you spend somebody credit card on the credit website, but you can't. I don't get it. Money. Like, okay. Bro, that's crazy. As they will send you to the local Bitcoin ATM to send them Bitcoin or I buy gift cards. When I asked ChatGPT oh, yeah, if it's a scam to send someone money asking to help recover my funds, they said, yes, it almost certainly is. And specifically for the following reasons down below. After some social engineering skills, I was able to get onto some of these scammers and investigate who they were. Look at these goofies. Special thanks to NanoBeta and Dan, who helped with their assistance. Their channels will be linked down below. I came to realize that these scammers weren't just doing the fake celebrity scams, but they were doing multiple different scams as well, such as this scammer who was doing romance scams, as well as this other scammer pretending to be Trilogy Media who's doing fake IRS tax return scams 
scamming people out of thousands of dollars. Gosh. Whilst having access to these scammers, we were able to see many things on their computer systems, including personal files and documents. On these specific files, I was able to see clear proof that these individuals were in fact scamming, as I saw victims sending them checks, hundreds of gift cards, yeah. and even Bitcoin transactions, which amounted to hundreds of thousands of dollars. We were able to trace back some of these wallets. Just give me that movie Beekeeper we just watched. They was out there scamming. That was seen it. it's horrible. A good movie. It's a good movie if y'all ain't seen it. But dang, gift cards. And I think our dollar, where they had over way more than what it is over here. Like, I think they get more money. I mean, they're getting free money at this point. Yeah. So anything is more than yeah, theirs. Yeah. And they even scamming. locates where some of these funds had gone into. All this information would then be passed on to law enforcement. Inside their Telegram accounts, I was able to see all the chats they were having with their victims in which I reached out to these victims, letting them know what was going on. Their Telegram accounts also gave another crucial piece of evidence which confirmed their location as all of these devices were all logged in from Abuja, Nigeria, Africa. I realized that these scammers were not living in the poor parts of Nigeria, but on the contrary, they were living in the built and wealthy parts in Nigeria. Oh. We found many personal pictures on the computer with friends, with family, yeah. And even clear images of the scammer that yeah, would later scamming, confirm scamming. that we had access to the right person scamming, such as this scammer who was pretending to be Trilogy Media. Just take a look and tell me it's not the same person. These scammers enjoyed splashing their cash on luxury designer items with the scam money that they had scammed for. My investigation yeah, would be sent to this Gucci. individual who was doing the romance scams, and he had done some questionable things that I've seen. He kept his romance scam script in his email in which he would just copy and paste each line into a new victim and try scam them out of money. Taking a look at his scam script, there were some very interesting things in there that were said, such as that he was fighting in Syria, he had light grey hair and blue eyes, which he clearly didn't have, not, and also sir. that he enjoyed travelling, going to the beach and camping. However, I was surprised that he didn't include scamming in him. Wait a minute. I'm going back. I know they said it a few minutes ago, but I want to go back a little bit. Wait a minute. He got a script? A script? A romance script? Bro, this is what I mean by these dudes got like... It, like. I'm not going to lie. Someone hit me up on my, uh, my Instagram one time. Totally off topic. And um, it was like a picture and it was of him. It was The picture was a, a older, like, looks like a Hispanic guy with a girl, with a little girl, like a daughter. And then like he literally was literally say, hey... Um, my name is so and so. I'm this year's old. I'm I'm in the um I'm fighting in Syria or something like that. Or it you was got hit by him. No, I'm not even lying to you. And I'm well, like, okay, but up. then, but then I blocked it. I blocked it because I'm like, what are you hitting me? Like it just, I just knew. It you might have got hit up by him. So right I blocked here. it, and then it popped up again, like on your people you may know, or whatever. Yeah. And it was the same guy, just a different name. I'm like, what? And then I guess girls were, were talking about him and saying, like, oh, this guy keeps, like, hitting me up. Like, this is a fake profile or something like that. And I was just like, oh. That's wild. Another thing that I watched him do was save the images of the people that he was impersonating for his romance scams. Really? And I also watched as he changed profile every now and then. Funny enough, the scammer had also done his homework and his research on the people he was impersonating to make sure what he said was never wrong when speaking to the victims. I had also watched as he would go online and download identity cards, which he would then go on to How edit and tweak around oh, to commit identity fraud and use someone else's identity. It was nasty watching him spend hours picking his nose, but it was funny seeing him try to sing. You are happy scamming. They're like, what you been doing all day? I was at work. He was over there. He was over there. Clock. He was work clocking. From working from home, clocking in. It's the fact that he's really getting these pictures. Right. He he working. He this is this is work. He is working, okay? He is at work. Let him cook. Look at these photos. Can you imagine what your camera sees? Yeah, your Check out singing. these dance moves that he decided to do. 
Are we about to bring it down? It was obvious that this scammer was up to no good. However, some days I did hear him speaking to his girlfriend and talking about their love life and how they could improve it. Hello, baby. This scammer was a wannabe gangster as I saw him sagging his pants, drinking and smoking at the exact times when he wasn't doing any scams. Damn, he's taking it back. Dang. I even saw this scammer starting to pray when he received this message from an elderly lady victim. These no, people were morally evil. Listen closely to what you're about to hear them talk about. Sis just sell her house for this man. Sis just sell one of our house for this. Sis just sell her. How would they give her American words? You heard it correct. What? They were just speaking about another victim from someone in the background who they have made sell their whole house in regards to a scam. This is their home. Oh, their home. They scamming on another level. I ain't never heard about nobody. This ain't scamming. This is they scam people out of their houses, y'all. Another. We need another word for scamming because an old lady scammy. at that. This is beyond. Oh this is my disrespect. God, bro, this crazy. It's literally giving the beehive. We scamming houses. Poorly. Is when I knew these people were evil-minded and that we had to stop all of them. So. I'd also seen the people in the background come on the computer, but there was no proof that they were also scamming, apart from this one individual who he was teaching how to hack Facebook accounts. So you teach him how to scam. Luckily, I was able to report all of these Facebook accounts, and my friend who works okay. at Meta removed them all in less than four hours. That's I also good. submitted a detailed police report to the EFCC in Nigeria, who are the equivalent of the Cybercrime Police Force, including the name location and proof of scams hopefully they take action on this group of scammers i hope and they now do it was time for me to exp imagine if he did that and he's they they imagine he reported them and everything and then on webcam they see him getting um getting the door knocked down by the police or something <laughs> imagine and he's on camera he's able to see it we got him Both them it was going to be hard as these scammers never enjoyed getting on a phone call so the only way I could get them on a phone call was acting as the victims of one of these scams. I was going to act as an old lady who just made a payment to him and I wanted to give him the surprise. However, the only surprise he was going to receive was me showing him his own face on his computer and confronting him about his scams. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Hello, can you hear me? Are you on your computer yet? Okay, why don't you send me the login of the wallet? Can you hear me? I'm on my computer. I'm on my computer now. I'm on my computer now. Okay, give me one second. Let me just go okay, to I'm waiting. I work. I've been working quite hard to get you this gift, sweetie. It's been taking me some time, you know. And I'm going through a lot doing this just to just to hear from you, honey. Yes. <laughs> look at his. Look at this goofy. <laughs> Look at him! That was so cute. <laughs> he really what? think he doing something. He back there on the phone. Hey, bro, you see this? I got this. Like, bro, you on camera, bro. You're on camera. But, but you're, you're him, and I'm like, look, you're on camera. You're on camera. <laughs> look at him. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, you sound so cute, sweetie. How old are you? Oh my god, this call is going far. Okay, Can you just Leo, give me okay, the link? get ready for the link. It's www. Okay. Okay, wait, look. I want you to do... Can you, just, can you just paste me the link on Skype or WhatsApp? Okay, look at your Skype. I'm going to send you the link. Okay, okay. I'll be waiting. Does he click I'll the link? And okay, so I end the call. No, don't end the call. Don't end the call. I need you to I need you to get ready for your surprise. Look, it's quite a lot of money I'm gonna send you. So I okay. need you to do something okay. for me. 
Let's let's count down from three. Let's do three, Why? two, Why? one, and then I'm gonna send you the gift on Skype. Okay. 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 Did you see it on the computer? Yeah. Okay, so look, now I'm going to tell you the amount of money I'm going to send you, but I need you to count down with me. Three, two, one. Is that okay, yeah? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let me hear you oh, say it. Oh, I'm rolling Three, you. two, one. Let me hear you say it. Three, two, one. Wait. Three, two, one. No. On your screen. Not at all. Do you not see it? it? Should be on your screen now, honey. <laughs> you not see it, darling? Hello. I'm trying to sh shut down. Oh, he should close everything. Is that you? Mm. Is that you on the screen, darling? Oh, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, listen, sir, you're not, you're not going to be escaping. I know you can hear me, okay? I know you can hear me, sir. Don't laugh. I know you're a little scammer, okay? Don't try to run away. Why are you scamming? <laughs> it's the faces. Look at, they're all in there now. Look at the faces. I cannot. Look at how serious he's looking. Bro, you got to get out of there, bro. Listen, American victim. Why are you scamming innocent victim? At he this laughing. point, I thought I had lost him, but I was wrong, as he turned on his computer the very next day for round two. Yo, buddy, why are you still scamming people? I know you can hear me. Why are you still scamming people? Yeah, cover your webcam, you little... B yeah, I'm gonna send the police to your house. Yeah, cover the webcam. I'm sending the police to your house, you little... How does it feel you're a scammer? Stop scamming people. You stupid scammer. If I was a hacker, I would have literally reset like his whole computer. Like I would have factory resetted that whole thing. He can still get back in there. IP is connected to the IP address. Oh damn! Yeah, That's how you know yeah. I'm not a hacker. Face. I don't know. Yeah, covering the webcam won't do nothing, buddy. Yeah, you can't, buddy. Just keep bringing it up, buddy. Look. <sighs> Who's your friend? Furthermore, he even decided to give me a call on Skype to finish it all off. What? Yep. Hello. Uh because he don't know it's a girl. Hello, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? you... Why are you scamming innocent people? How is there something wrong with me? I think You're out of your mind. <laughs> I'm going to send the EFCC night <laughs> Make sure you head over to Trilogy Media Street oh! to watch how we expose this other scammer. Look at your face. Your little scamming face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you little scamming piece of I'm gonna block your computer. It was like watching the video. Oh my god, dude. Man, I got a dope <laughs> job. I'm on his job. I'm in the wrong field and on YouTube. I need to be finding scammers. Like he get yeah. that see their reaction. You can get into the computers and stuff. You can't do that. That's what I'm saying. I'm in the wrong field. I should have. You don't know how to do that. That's why I'm gonna go ask him. <laughs> Let me get in with you, bro. Let me just get in on one call. Let me sit in on one call with you, bro. You're dumb. That is on so I'm gonna come embarrassing. In the how you doing, bro? That is so <laughs> embarrassing. And they don't even care. Why he had to make you count down? That's... They don't care because they were laughing. They didn't... Yeah, but he sent all that mess, that information to... That's true. I'm hoping they go knock his oh, door down. Gosh. This was excellent, y'all. I'm going to have to go watch some more of these. Like, this was lit. This was lit. Hmm. Y'all sending some good stuff over. Yeah, I sending some good stuff. You know what y'all be watching. Man, first y'all <laughs> hit us with the cheating channel, and then y'all come with the scamming. That one was good. That one was moving. good. We got to react to another one. I want to see another one. But let us know what y'all thought about this one. Let us know y'all opinion down below. If y'all want to react to more of these, let us know. Get these video likes up. See y'all on the next one.